fish, paper, this could work. delve into the realm of fish and paper, which, if my pronunciation is correct, the French call en papillot. Let's deal with sauces. I've got some beautiful red peppers. Let's roast them off, <clears throat> and I'll make a red pepper coulis out of them. Now, I've got electric stovetop, induction stovetop, electric oven that is kind of iffy. Um, if you've got gas stove top, do it on the gas stove top. If you've got a grill working, do it on a grill. Since I have neither, I have to use alternate methods. The object is burn the skin off. Char it as much as you can, okay? This is what we're looking for. Completely charred. Stuff it in a bowl. Put a plate over it and just let it sit for 10 minutes. Because what will happen is the steam will collect in there and just loosen the skin. I got one more to do. Okay, let's get on with our sauce. Start off, I've got about a quarter of an onion. Just gonna rough chop it. Doesn't have to be pretty. I'm gonna puree this. We'll get that sauteing off with just a little bit of olive oil. Pinch of salt. And I'm gonna throw in two medium-sized cloves of garlic. Make sure the skin's off. Okay, there we go. Put that at fairly low. I want it to sweat. Don't want to get too much color on it. Let's take a look at our peppers. Here we go. Notice how the skin just rubs right off now and gets all over your hands. You can do this under running water. Doesn't matter. I like having a little bit of that jar on there. So I do it with my hands. Okay, most of it's off. I need to wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. I'm going to cut these in half. Scoop out the seeds in the inner membrane. And then I'm just going to cut them up a little bit. Again, it's going to get pureed, so it doesn't have to be some perfect julienne. Now these are going to go into the into the pan. Give them a stir. Final thing to go in there, other than seasoning, we're gonna do some seasoning too. Uh, wash my hands again. Okay, my hands are clean. They're still wet, but they're clean. 
little pepper, just a pinch more salt. And I'm going to put in chicken stock to cover. Whatever you can get. I'm going to bring that up to a boil and let it simmer for about, oh, probably 20, 30 minutes. So my sauce is going in the back. Let's talk paper. When I, I remember going through this in culinary school, and they said they had to cut a heart-shaped piece of paper, and I'm like, you know, no. Circle? No. A rectangle is fine. Just fold it correctly. So, I'm going to cut about 9 by 18 pieces, and that should do us right. That's perfect. Okay. Now that we got the paper ready, let's talk about filling. You gotta have the filling ready to go before you build the paper because, well, that's just the way you do it. I found fennel. Interesting thing. You've got a bulb like an onion, stalks like celery, and fronds like dill. And it's all edible. But I'm going to concentrate on the end here. So we're going to cut the tops off. Then I'm going to cut the core out. But to do that, the best way to do it is to quarter this. And then just come in at an angle and cut that core out. Just like that. Okay. So, what I want to do is I want to, this could be caramelized a lot like an onion, and I kind of want to get a little bit of color on them, but first we got to slice it up. Now, the other thing about um, cooking in paper is you're going to want your vegetables either that will cook faster than the fish or pre-cooked. So we're going to pre-cook this fennel. Okay, I've got saute pan, a little bit of olive oil. Getting that warm. It won't take long on this with that type of pan and that type of stove top. It cooks up, it heats up pretty quickly. Just get a little heat going. And we'll add in our fennel. Throw in a little bit of salt, some fresh cracked pepper, and it's, all we gotta do is cook that down a bit. Some other flavors I got going in there. I got some nice grape tomatoes, lemon slices, always nice, whole parsley, Italian. We do need to prep these tomatoes a bit, so we're just going to Cut them in half. Now, be careful with this technique. This is what we would do to slice a whole bunch of tomatoes. You need a sharp knife. Now, this is a sharp knife. And you need to keep your fingers out of the way. So just come in and just cut parallel through the tomatoes. A lot quicker than going one at a time. If you're nervous about doing that, you can one at a time. Okay, let's talk wrapping. First thing we gotta do, oh, by the way, I skinned and I portioned out the fish. I did that off camera. If 
we've seen it done. First we got to do is season this up. A little salt and pepper. Oh, by the way, I've got haddock. Just thought you'd like to know. So put down our piece of paper. I want to build the haddock on top of a couple pieces of lemon. So I'm going to put them so about two thirds from me. Then we'll put our fish down on top. Then I think I'm going to go with the fennel. A few sprigs of the uh, parsley. And then some tomatoes. There we go. Now for the tricky part, folding. Fold this up over. And then you want this to be kind of tight. It doesn't have to, to match here to here. That doesn't matter. Then start from the side. Make sure that you have, you're right up next to the fish and you want to fold. Then fold again, kind of overlapping the previous fold. And then again. And again, just keep straightening this out each time. Then you got to the corner here. Again, another fold. I'm going about 45 degrees or so. Then fold again. And again. And again, make sure that you crimp, you fold down this and make sure that it's crimped real nice. Again, finally making it around the last turn here. Getting to the end one last fold. Then you'll have this little thing. I've seen people staple this. You really don't need to. Just tuck it under. And that's our packet. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but Chef Terry, I don't like fish. You like shrimp? We can do it with shrimp. Put down our lemons. Now mind you, all the flavors that I'm putting in here, it's up to you. You know, if you don't like fennel, you don't have to put fennel in there. You don't like uh, the tomatoes, don't put the tomatoes in there. It's all up to you. Also, the order you put them in, it doesn't really matter. Just Make a nice little packet. There we go. Okay, let's finish off the sauce. Take a look at that. Nice and cooked down. We've got the chicken stock, we've got the onions, the garlic. Next thing, hit it with a stick. Let's give it a taste. Very nice. Strong red pepper flavor to it. I think we can improve it just a little bit. Throw in just a touch of cream. That's maybe a tablespoon and a little bit of butter. Okay, we got a little butter in there, we got the cream. 
Let's give it another taste. I think it needs just a touch of salt. I think we're good. All right, here we go. Fish is done. Feeling nice and firm still. Um, best way to check it though, take its temperature. I go for about 145 degrees. That's where I like my fish. So let's plate this up. Plating, very, very simple. I like using a bowl just to make sure that, you know, all the sauce stays in. Now we'll take a little, take some scissors. Cut open our packet. And I like to just tear open the packet just a little bit. Use the flap so it comes up. Hit it with our coulis. And there we have it. We have our, well, we could call this haddock on papillote. I'm Chef Terry. You know, all the, all the ingredients are down in the description. Also, check out these videos. I'll see you next time.